हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी आई मिसिस कोकिला भाटिया टीचिंग मैथ्स फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड एट्थ इन शेट विद्या मंदिर इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज वेलकम यू ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लेसन नंबर फाइव एक्सपांशन फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट चिल्ड्रेन व्हाट इज एक्सपांशन अ नंबर और अदर मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन written in an extended form is known as expansion in other words we can say as the act of getting bigger or something added on to something else for example a square plus 2ab plus b square is the expansion of a plus b the whole square second example a square minus 2ab plus b square is the expansion of a minus b the whole square the third example a square minus b square is the expansion of a plus b a minus b now these three expansion formula we have already studied in our previous standard expansion of x plus a x plus b x plus a and x plus b are binomials with one term in common children you can see that there are two members in the first bracket and two members in the second bracket the first two members that is of the first bracket that is x plus a has to be multiplied with the two members of the second bracket that is x plus b did you understand children that means the first term of the first bracket that is x has to be multiplied with the second bracket x plus b again the second term of the first bracket that is a has to be multiplied with the second bracket x plus b now when you multiply x with x plus b you get x square plus bx when you multiply a with x plus b you get ax plus a b so you have got the solution of x plus a x plus b which is equal to x square plus bx plus ax plus ab now you just look at the middle terms children what is the middle term bx plus ax there is a common variable there which is the common variable yes x so x b plus a can be written in the bracket and x can be written outside the bracket so the solution of x plus a x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b close the bracket x plus a b for example x plus 2 x plus 3 let us assume a as 2 and b as 3 so the solution for x plus 2 x plus 3 will be x square plus 2 plus 3 bracket close x plus 2 multiplied by 3 which is equal to x square plus 5x plus 6 similarly just see the second example y plus 4 y minus 3 again here you, instead of x we have written y and assume a as 4 and b as minus 3 good so the solution for y plus 4 y minus 3 is equal to y square plus 4 minus 3 bracket close y plus 4 multiplied by minus 3 so the solution is y square plus y minus 12 now children just look at the third example 2a plus 3b 2a minus 3b now here we have to assume x as 2a and a as 3b b as minus 3b very good so according to the formula it will be x square x square means what 2a the whole square plus in the bracket 3b minus 3b close the bracket then 2a very good plus then 3b into minus 3b that's good 
Now 2a the whole square is 4a square plus 3b minus 3b is what? 0. So 0 when multiplied by 2a what will you get? 0 plus 3b into minus 3b will be minus 9b square. So the solution for 2a plus 3b, 2a minus 3b is equal to 4a square minus 9b square. Now look at the fourth example. m plus 3 upon 2, m plus 1 upon 2. Again here instead of x we have written m. For a it is 3 upon 2 and for b it is 1 upon 2. So which is equal to m square plus in the bracket 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 close the bracket m plus 3 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 2. Now open the brackets which is equal to m square plus now as the denominators are same we can add in a simple manner. So 3 plus 1 is what? 4. 4 upon 2 multiplied by m is 4 upon 2 m plus 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 will become 3 upon 4. Very good. Now what is the solution of m plus 3 upon 2 m plus 1 upon 2 m square plus now you have you got 4 upon 2 m that can be reduced right 2 ones are 2 2 two twos are 4 so that will become 2 m plus 3 upon 4. Expansion of a plus b the whole cube. Now here we will cube the first term that is a a cube then as it is positive sign that is plus sign we have to put plus then 3 square of the first term of the bracket that is a so it becomes a square and b as it is so that will become 3 a square b then reverse it that is 3 a and square of b so that will become 3 a b square and lastly cube of b that is b cube so the formula for a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube. For example x plus 3 the whole cube. Now let us assume a as x and b as 3. So is equal to a cube means x cube plus 3 a square b. So 3 multiplied by x square into 3 plus 3 a b square that is 3 into x into 3 square plus b cube that is 3 cube. Now open the brackets. So x cube plus 3 3 is a 9 x square plus 3 into x 3 x into 3 square that will become 27 x plus 3 cube plus 27. So the solution for x plus 3 the whole cube is x cube plus 9 x square plus 27 x plus 27. Very good. Now just see the second example. 3 x plus 4 y the whole cube. Now here you have to assume a as 3 x and b as 4 y. Now with the help of the formula a cube means 3 x the whole cube plus in the bracket 3 into 3 x the whole square into 4 y close the bracket plus 3 into 3 x into 4 y the whole square close the bracket plus 4 y the whole cube. Okay. Now is equal to 3x the whole cube will become 3x into 3x into 3x. So 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. x into x into x will become x cube. So that will become 27x cube plus 3 into 3x the whole square. So 3x the whole square will become 9x square multiplied by 4y plus 3 into 3x into 4y the whole square will become 
16y square plus 4y the whole cube will become 4y into 4y into 4y which is 64y cube. So the solution for 3x plus 4y the whole cube is equal to 27x cube plus 3 into 9 into 4 is 108x square y plus 3 into 3 9 into 16 will be 144xy square plus 64y cube. Now children just look here 41 the whole cube. Now here you don't have to just multiply 41 into 41 into 41. Yes you can do in that way but we are doing expansion. So you have to expand 41. So how will you expand it? 40 plus 1 the whole cube. Now you have to assume A as 40 and B as 1. So with the help of the formula you will write 40 cube plus in the bracket 3 into 40 square into 1 close the bracket plus 3 into 40 into 1 square close the bracket plus 1 cube. Now 40 the whole cube will become 40 into 40 into 40 that will become 64,000 plus 3 into 40 square. 40 square means 40 into 40 that is 1600 into 1. Then 3 into 40 will become 120 into 1 square. 1 square is 1. So 120 into 1 will be 120 plus 1 cube. 1 cube means 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 that is 1. So now is equal to 64,000 plus 3 into 1600 will be 4800 into 1 will become 4800 plus 120 plus 1 which is equal to now you add all this. When you add you get 68921 expansion of a minus b the whole cube the formula here will remain the same as it was for a plus b the whole cube but as there is minus sign the sign will change it will become alternate that is plus minus plus minus that is a minus b the whole cube is equal to a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. Got it children? Now, for example x minus 2 the whole cube. We have to do it in the same manner only the you have to be very careful with the sign. So here again we will assume a as x and b as 2. So according to the formula for a minus b the whole cube a is x. So x cube then minus sign very good. In the bracket 3x square into 2 close the bracket then with sign plus open the bracket 3x into 2 square very good. Then with sign minus 2 cube. So, what is the solution for x minus 2 the whole cube? x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 8. Very good. So, I think you have understood this now. Let's go for the second example. 4p minus 5q the whole cube. Here assume a as 4p and b as 5q. And we have to see what? Minus sign. In plus you don't have any problem. But when there is a minus sign you have to be very careful. Otherwise you will do full sum. You, are, you may get the answer also. But the answer will be wrong because of your sign. So 4p cube minus in the bracket 3 into 4p the whole square into 5 cube close the bracket plus very good 3 into 4 p into 5 cube the whole square close the bracket minus 
phi q the whole cube now which is equal to 4p cube 64p cube minus 3 into 4p square will become 16p square into 5 cube then plus in the bracket 12p into 25 q square minus 125 q cube very good so the solution for 4p minus 5 q the whole cube will be 64 p cube minus after multiplying 3 into 16 into 5 you get 240 p square q plus 12 into 25 becomes 300 p q square minus 125 q cube very good now look here children for 99 the whole cube this again we have to expand but with the minus sign so what will we write 100 minus 1 the whole cube again with the help of the formula a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube here we will write 100 cube minus in the bracket 3 into 100 square into 1 plus in the bracket 3 into 100 into 1 square close the bracket minus 1 cube good now 100 the whole cube will be 1 followed with how many zeros 6 zeros minus 3 into 100 square into 1 will become 3 followed with 4 zeros plus 3 into 100 into 1 square will become 300 minus 1. Now after subtracting adding you will get the answer as 970299. Now we will continue with this chapter in our next session. Thank you. God bless.